I was scrolling through the internet while attending my college lectures when I found stumbled upon a website with a smooth hover animation. It made me think, wow, this is cool. Since I consider myself as an HTML programmer, I decided to recreate the same effect. I started writing the code and found myself diving into the fascinating black hole. I decided to break it down to understand what's really happening. First, something was following my mouse, so I knew we need some kind of JavaScript. And also, each box had a different hover color. So yeah, that's simple, we can just use a CSS variable, right? Now let's open CodePen and work some magic. I realized that I need to take a crash course on naming conventions, but who cares? First, we can create a card with a div and add some contents to it, including a heading and some other list items. Next, let's add some CSS to make it visually appealing. We are fancy folks, right? So we will use dark mode. Here we will also use grid layout because I'm not actually a fan of flex box. Let's align items to the start and add a fancy border and we can also set the cursor as a pointer. We will style the card heading with a font weight, a text color of white and some more fancy CSS properties. To make it feel professional, we will add a custom bullet point and remove the list style. This is our high quality bullet point. For the button, we will give it a dark background color, some padding, some margin and a touch of fastness. Voila, we have a pretty good card. Now let's replicate this three times using our superpower, copy and paste. We will wrap them in another div with a class name of container. For the container, we can style it with a flexbox and for responsiveness, we can use flex wrap and a gap of 2.5 em. This is how it looks so far, pretty good right? Now it's time to dive into the actual code. For the card, we will use a before selector giving it a width height and positioning it absolutely. We will also apply a filter blur and use CSS variables to set its position by defining the top and left. You can see the small color on each card, right? That's our element. We need three different colors for the hover animation. So we will use three different class names and independent CSS variables for them. Now only when I hover the card, you can see that small thing over there. Let's get into some real programming and write some JavaScript. We will query select all the cards in JavaScript, in this case three, and then create a function for each card by mapping through them. We will add an event listener for whenever the mouse moves through the card. We will use get bounding line rect to calculate the position of the mouse pointer related to the each individual card element. This effect responds to the mouse movement within each card. We will then set the top and left properties. This way our CSS can catch the position using the variables. But wait a second, don't you think we missed something? Those who don't use Popin's font family. Bro, seriously, do you even exist? Let's import it and add the font family Popin's. And now we have our little animation making you feel like a CSS pro.